Welcome back to Shadow of the Erd Tree, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I decided to go back to the Thief Mask. I really do like this armor of night. It is super duper gloom armor from Demon Souls, but nothing beats the Bandit Mask. It just looks the best. So in the last episode, Commander Gaius absolutely stomped the crap out of us for many, many attempts straight. But I got him. I always do. And I think the reason I'm going to continue in this direction past Commander Guys is because this seems to dead end. I don't know what this big mega structure is in front of us. It is enormous. But we're going to see what's going on up here because it doesn't look like there's anywhere we can go beyond it. But we're going to do our due diligence. We're going to explore the area just to make sure we don't miss anything on the way up there. And hopefully some more excitement awaits us in today's expedition because... After we cover whatever is in this direction, once it dead ends, if it dead ends, I don't know if it will. It's just my assumption. I think after that, oh man, this is like the edge edge of man. This is like right up against the scatter But what I'm going to do after that? No. No. D Ladies and gentlemen, we have Alban Arx. The one enemy that we really didn't miss, we didn't ask for, we didn't want to come back. They're here in full force, it seems. Anyway, what I'm going to do afterwards, once we're done dealing with all of this garbage, is we're going to go back into the Shadow Keep, and we're going to work on those areas that we missed. You don't see me. You can't see me. There's no way. I'm stealthed in the bushes. So let's do ourselves a favor. Let's uh, be real stealthy with this enemy. And what I'm thinking is, y'all remember the liturgical town, right? So I think I think it's just fair. It's fair. We're going to give them a taste of their own medicine. That's all there is to it. See, how does it feel not being able to escape the arrows that are being shot at you? This is like the purest form of revenge, I'm telling you. Nope. 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 You're not dodging the Rancor shot. You're just not doing it. I don't care how hard you try. You can continue to. I mean, you're allowed. But I'm just telling you, it's not going to make a difference. Nope. Nope. I can fire more of them than you. Mine have blood on them. Good lord. That felt wonderful. And then there was just you. Eat this. Oh, hello. Gaius's Greaves. Um, I did not think we were going to get a piece of his armor from an Albanaric, but tell you what, let's take a look. We'll see if there's any of that delicious lore. Black Iron Greaves made from made for Commander Gaius. A cruel joke, for he could not <laughs> wear them. Riding atop the boar he called his other half, Gaius was in fact a warrior of all the... Oh, okay, so the guy who happened to be the lord and teacher of Commander Gaius, or of uh, Radon, that's what, uh, I guess I didn't show that off screen, was I looked at his weapon, I looked at the stuff he could make using his boss soul, and you can in fact get his weapon, and I believe his weapon description said... Something about how he was the one who taught Radon how to use gravity magic. That's pretty impressive. Let's, just for the sake of looking, let's see what this does. Uh, boost attack power of precision aimed shots. A talisman depicting an archer, not just any archer, in an Albanaric wielding a longbow. Boosts attack power of precision aimed shots. The Albanaric archers were in a class of their own, and their deadly long-range specialists struck fear into the hearts of men. Yeah, dude, because we all had to get through the stupid liturgical town. Lame. Okay, so of course the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go around the back. Why would we just go straight in, right? This looks like a giant kiln. There's a bunch of purple items. The Scatatree Chalice. Alright, so we're already getting sort of like a... what you call it? A... Uh, oh, what's that giant thing called? Oh my god, Scatatree. Oh my god! Yes! 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 Give them to me! Oh. There's nothing inside. 
Oh well, it's fine. But this is basically like that giant uh, kiln that's at the mountaintop of the giants, man. Uh, same exact kind of symbolism. I'm wondering if we're going to have to come here at the end of the DLC and light some kind of fire to burn the scatter tree. That will be interesting. All right, folks. So just to make things as straightforward as possible, we're going to start at the very first bonfire in the storehouse area. I know that back in the actual shadow keep, we should be fine. I don't think we missed anything back there, but we're just going to go ahead and clear these guys out again because we know they're easy. Oops. If they're easy when you can hit them. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of these guys, even though they aren't going to be a problem for us when we drop down. I still would rather them just be gone because this is the first place I'm going to go. We're going to drop down right here. We're going to be smart. We're going to drop down right here so that way we're not on the floor and at the mercy whatever's down here because i know they're gonna do something dirty look at these stone tablets these are like the same things that are inside america's bedchamber right before godfrey so i wonder what's going on with these it looks like there's candles melting on them too these guys are having to read and write in the dark all right so it's giving us maximum thunder defense lightning defense and there's like a little lever right here. I guess this is going to open the bookshelf, I would imagine. Yuppers. I don't know what those are. <clears throat> I do not trust it. Oh, of course it doesn't work. Get rid of him. Ember of Mesmer is always welcome because we need those for crafting. Oh. A feeling... Get rid of you. So there's quite a few of these guys here. Uh, I don't really care that they're not aggroing on us, but I just want them gone because the minute they do stand up and have a problem with me, it's going to become problematic. So we'll just deal with them as we see them. Including you. Oh, these guys dropped the Ember of Mesmer. Okay. Hello. Little shadow militia. Those guys are awful. Where there's one, there's like several. No. Oh, they didn't die in one hit. Interesting. That was weird. I wonder why they didn't die in one hit. But normally they do. All right. Okay, before we go back there... Oh, hello! Look, you little shadow militia. Here, let me just put you down. Damn, 4,800 damage. With a hand axe. Just let that sink in. Yep, there's another one. No. I don't think so. Told you, man. Where there's one, there's a bunch. So I'm able to kill these guys in one hit just fine. I wonder what the deal was with those guys. Was it because they were in attack mode? I think, uh... I do know that if you attack an enemy... Hello. Don't even think about it. How did I miss? Won't miss this time. <laughs> but I do know that the enemies will take additional damage if they're not in attack mode. But I wonder why, in particular, those guys did not... That was kind of strange to me. Maybe they were just special. Maybe they were particularly beefed up. Oh my goodness. Come here, you. Damn, he's just power walking through it. No. No. Ugh. Well... So I seem to have glitched this guy into a corner. He does not want to do anything except sit there and use the fire attack. I wonder why. Did this happen to anybody else? Hmm. Does it get me stuck in the corner? No. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what he was guarding. Smithing stone eights. Definitely want those. They come in handy for sure. 
Um, I don't think there's anything else over here. So let's go ahead and see what was down here. Let's check out this room because I'm sure if we go upstairs, it's just going to keep going, right? If we go here, it will likely dead end. But I'm not stupid. I feel like somewhere in here, there's either going to be Shadow Militia or Ans Bosch? Okay. Works for me. Righteous tarnished. It's been some time. After unburdening my soul to you, I had hoped to make a fresh start. But there was one thought I could not dislodge from my mind. So, here I am. Quite unable to move on. After Lord Moke's slaying at his dynastic palace, it appears his body has been absconded with and taken straight to kind Mikola. Surely you recall that I once served Lord Moog as a pure-blood knight, after failing him in every regard and losing sight of my vows. I'd do anything to make amends in whatever meager way I can. So I'm noticing a theme here. Remember what Freya said. She said that she's on her own personal mission to figure out what the deal was with, like, Radon and Mikola. So she's doing her own thing to, like, figure out some kind of uh, secret behind her old master. And it looks like Ansbosch is doing the same thing with Moog. He's on some kind of personal mission with his previous master. What could they possibly have in mind for Lord Moog's remains? The implications are rather unnerving. I wonder if he means because of what's going on out here. Like, this place procured Moog's remains, and they're... Okay, that looks like the... What's it called? The... the um, I can't think of what it's called. The something beast that's in the Ainsel River. Uh, there's two of them. And uh, I think... I think that's what he's worried about. It's like, what are they going to do if they're doing stuff like that to the bodies here? Is that what they're going to do to Moog? What could they possibly have the implication? Unnerving indeed, my friend. We'll have to find out together. Don't want to forget this. Some hefty bones, a nice little snack for later. So the other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go through this passage. Before we go upstairs, I want to see what's going on through here. Well, you had one job, my friend. Nope, too late to dodge. Can't just change your mind. You've already been fired. This is dirty, though. These, uh, these shadow militia... Ooh, another grace. It was definitely a good call to go back here instead of forward. Um, feeling like dealing with that. All we have to do is wait for the right moment. There we go. Lock on at the last second. We're good. No, wrong guy, but it's fine. I can fix this. <laughs> Sit down. Take that. Wasted one of those fucking around with a fire knight. Um... I don't want to see where that goes. Not yet. There's... God, there's too many places to go around here. But what I was saying before is... This is a perfect example. Is what they're doing right here with these Shadow Militia. These guys are the exact same color and arguably a similar texture almost to these surroundings. Like, look at the color of this place and look at what color they are. It's very dirty what they're doing. But it's fine. So we're just going to keep throwing axes at them. We're not going to get got by these guys? Hell no. I know there's more. No, you should have kept reading, man. The fact that you stopped to have a problem with me, well, that was just dumb. Oh, come on. I found a secret pocket and you're not even going to let me have a... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I almost complained for nothing. Hold on. I know I'm not alone back here. Oh, wait. This is... Are you... Damn it. There's no way to get back up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got God. Anyway, we're going to light this grace and... Oh, goodness. 
what the hell is down here? If I didn't know any better, I'd say this will be a shortcut. No, because it works. Oh, shit. What the hell's down here? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Nope, nope, nope. I'm having a page master moment here. I'm trying to figure out if we go up or down, and it's like down, 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 definitely down, and then suddenly I change my mind. I'm like, up, up, up. Definitely up. So, I don't know if there's a reason to do this. I don't know if we... I don't know if we even want to get up here, but I'm gonna. Just because. You never know. There could be a goodie up here. Hey, what do you know? There's a goodie up here. Scatter fragment? No. Revered spirit ash. Close. Now I'm looking at the bookshelves. What kind of puzzle does FromSoft have in mind for me? Are they going to make me scale bookshelves to get to secret special items? I sure hope so. How about that? Can I... Mmm, I'm already... My brain's already ticking with ideas. Oh, no. So, can we get up here? We can. Cool. Give me that. Yo! And I really need to, like, stop doing that. I feel like I am constantly just not quite in range before I swing. It is so amateur and embarrassing. You would think I know how to hit things in a Souls game. Been playing these fucking things for damn near 16 years now. Going on. What are you hiding back here? Surely there's goodies. I did see the Fire Knight over there. We'll mess with him in just a second. Tell you what we're going to do with the Fire Knight is... Be smart. That's what we're going to do. You don't see anything. You guys just mind your damn business while I deal with your manager. No, no, no. You don't see anything. What? No. That was supposed to be a... Yeet! Oh my god, did you see that? I was sprinting full force. It chased me. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Oh, dang, that goes kind of far. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I can just hear it now. Okay, so there's about the effective range of it. We definitely cannot send either of those spells as far as they can, but I don't care. I'm pretty satisfied with that. That was pretty funny. But you know what does go pretty far? <laughs> Have a rock, man. Okay, so that did a crap ton of damage. I wonder if these guys have an affliction to electricity. It's worth experimenting. So what were you guarding? Beast horn. Okay, not something particularly important to us, but we still want it for sure. And then down there, this is the room that... Hold on, if I can swivel them... Why would I do that when I can just go right here and look? Goodness. I feel like I'm a professional at making things more difficult than they need to be. So I was going to say this looks like the Anbosch room, and I am correct. Okay, so we don't need to go that way, but because this bookshelf is so readily available to us platform-wise, I'm wondering if there's a reason to do any of this. Let's just hop around and figure it out, shall we? Let's see. Let's see if there's a reason to jump around on these bookshelves. It's fun to explore, isn't it? So now let's see what's up here. What do we got? Can I open this? Nope. Okay. Are there any levers nearby to open it? Not that I can see. Okay. We will deal with the Fire Knight in a moment. What I would like to do is clear this area out beforehand. Hmm. 
So that must be what the difference in damage is. Once they're in attack mode, that's when they will not die in one hit anymore. That was a square hit. There we go. Yeah, once they're alerted, we don't do enough damage to one-shot them. It's fine, though. Blessed Bone Shard. Definitely do not want that guy to hear me, because it'll make the encounter significantly more difficult than it needs to be. And I have already shown my effectiveness with just such a thing in this episode so far. Okay, we have another Fire Knight over here. So, to not alert that guy, I'm actually going to leave these two alone. Maybe we can kill them without alerting him? Okay, yeah, we're good. How about this one? Yeah, we're good. Alright, cool. I'm going to leave you alone for a minute, and I will come back to finish you after I deal with this one. So, what we're going to do with this guy is we're actually going to deal with him... The effect. Oh, God. Really? There's no way. There we go. That was how it's supposed to go last time. And it didn't. <laughs> so, the Fire Knight's short sword. I don't know that that's a guaranteed drop, but we're going to look at it. Okay. Trip scaling. Very low stat requirements. It's got... It's got a D in Strength, Dex, and Faith right off the bat. Low base damage. It's only got 75 Physical, 22 Fire, but it's got 110 Critical Rate. That's high for a straight sword. I mean, give you an example. These are straight swords, and they're only 100. And hell, this is considered a, a dagger, and it only has 100, so it's got a high crit rate, and it's got Quick Step on it. Okay. Short sword used by the Fire Knights, a slender blade that undulates like fire. Blessed with a flame incantation. Further flame imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. So if you were to buff this thing with Mesmer's Flame, it sounds... Sounds like you could do some serious damage. It's so short. Oh! That's why. It's a... Uh... It's it's not a sword. It's a... Uh... It's not a straight sword. It's a dagger. Okay. Now we're gonna deal with you. Nope. Wow, that was very satisfying. Do you see how well that worked out? So these guys are definitely weak to lightning, for sure. We just confirmed it right there. I mean, if you want to sit there and slow walk at me like you're in an edit, that's fine. I'm just going to shred you. No, you can be bullied. That sword that they have is definitely no dagger. That's kind of what I'm learning. Or horns. I would imagine that those are probably going to serve some kind of greater purpose at some point. They're going to be valuable for something, I just don't know what it is yet. And these bookshelves are making me nervous. I don't like it. I feel like some of them are fake. Some of them can be moved with secret switches. That's the general vibe that I'm getting. So let's go ahead and follow the boardwalk this way. Because we took care of both Fire Knights. We took over all the small guys, too, so all of the small fries are gone. Hello. Well, don't just get excited and then stop. The fun has only just begun, gentlemen. They're so cute with their little poison pots that they throw. It's like they think I'm going to get God or something. They just don't seem to get it. Uh, let's do this real quick. I noticed that there was a way to get into this small area via this ledge. So let's see what we got. Eee, don't like this thing hanging above us. Dueling shield. That looks just like the shield from the gameplay trailer. Let's take a look. Uh, no, I want to put it in the actual shield hand. That's probably how it's most effective. So we do have the stats to use this one, not the carrion one, but this one has uh, shield strike as well. But why is there no picture for the other one? I wonder why that is. So... You can even charge attack. 
So the appeal with this thing is that you can use it as a shield, right? But apparently if you attack, it will attack and block at the same time. Now, how about the resistances? So this one has worse resistances for sure. This one blocks higher physical and magical. And the only thing this one is better in by a long shot is lightning and holy. But this carrion one definitely has better guard boost. 64 versus 58. So... Keep that in mind if you're considering using either of those. I think the carrion one is pretty superior if you have the stats to use it. Does it want me to jump on this thing's foot to get up there? Is that what it's asking me to do? We will find out in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and clear the rest of this current level before we go exploring or doing any Indiana Jones shit. Don't mind me, just walking around Super Saiyan 3. Nothing special. No, you can't break the poise of that. Sorry, sir. So as I've been running through here, I've also been trying to pay attention to drop downs to see if there are lower levels that were not obvious to us that would have been easy to miss. And so far, I'm not seeing anything. It looks like we're, again, like I mentioned in the last episode, it looks like we're scaling this place in a pretty linear fashion. And I'm aware that... I definitely am going to have to go through a couple times just to make sure that we don't miss everything, or anything, rather. But uh, I do know that... Yep, had a feeling that this is what it was going to want us to do. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. So check this out. These look like the horns have been removed, right? So this is more of a humanoid and the look at the shackle that's against the, the arms, it looks almost like a rune arc. That's probably just a platform that we're going to stand on once we get up there. It's what it looks like anyway. But very interesting imagery here that it looks like a lot of the horns have been shaved off or removed from some of these figures. Very cool stuff. Yeah, man, look at this. Look at all these horns coming out. Looks like there's some hair here as well. This is wild, and we found ourselves another Mickling Cross, too, so... Oh boy, I have a feeling we've made it up to the contraption, or at least close to it, that's going to make this room shift. I am still subscribed to that theory. I still feel that that's going to happen. So let's go ahead and grab this. Thank you, definitely needed that. Okay, I abandoned here my arm dextral, so... Storehouse cross message. Let's read it. It's probably going to be from Letta. Message left by Sir Ansbosch. Okay. Addressed to kindred spirits who also pursue Mikola's trail. It would seem that the people of the keep have flooded the holy quarter that leads onward to the scatatry, barring access. However, there is no route that leads there from this storehouse. Perhaps there is another way to reach the holy quarter from somewhere else in this keep. Loud and clear, my friend. I'm on it. Now, I'm just going to make an observation here. I think based on what we explored in the last episode, what I believe is going to happen is as we went further down before we got to Commander Gaius, we passed a point where there looked like there was a big bridge and then there was a fire knight at the end of it that looked like he had a thrusting sword, not a straight sword. I am thinking that through that gate is probably what he's talking about. So we have another fire knight here, and I think... What we're going to need to do for this guy, he's already attacking me. <laughs> you know, great minds think alike. I was actually going to shoot the same damn thing at you, sir. <laughs> Looks like mine's better. How did I miss? There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I just want to knock you down until I can get one of these off on you. Bye. <laughs> get outplayed, bub. Oh, that was a long fall. Did you see how long it took me to get those souls? <laughs> so my immediate observation of this level is uh, this is feeling a lot like Tower of Latria. And it looks nothing like it. I get it. But hear me out. The linear progression, 
I keep using that word, the way we just keep scaling vertically to get further and further up the level, and then also these. This looks very similar to the fire that's coming out of the pots where the guys are uh, doing the little chant ritual to hold up the demon heart with the chains. You know, the part where I always make the docking reference, the breaking the chains around me. Know what I mean? It's a really fun song to play on guitar, by the way. If anybody is looking for something new to play, if you're bored, I highly recommend some docking. It's not particularly challenging. It's very fun. Well, one was bound to get over here, weren't they? Okay. Now you're just pissing me off. Now you're just infuriating me. You don't want me to get anywhere past that, okay? Damn. Why am I so good at making things worse? Okay, I remember seeing these guys patrolled out down here. Let's do this. I kind of want to see if you can charge this. You can. Damn. All right. Be very careful with your next move. All right. Good effort, mate. Sneaky little item right here. Let's definitely get this. So there was a... Looks like there was a back way from in here to get up there. That would have been super useful to ambush that Fire Knight from behind. Jeez. Why the hell couldn't we have got in from this way? Hello, Secret Right Scroll. We're definitely going to take a look at that. Learn about the Secret Right of the Divine Gateway. A scroll made of white tree bark. Oh, dude, that's so cool. It's not even paper. It's like, it's not been processed by Dunder Mifflin or anything like that. It's like straight bark that somebody just etched a message on. That's cool, dude. Few can decipher the scroll, which describes the secret rite of the Divine Gateway said to be found at the tower enshrouded by shadow. A lord will usher in a god's return, and the lord's soul will require a vessel. Ah, oh, man, I love it. It's so cryptic. It's so from soft. So maybe I'm crazy. I guess there wasn't a way that we could have got to here because this is a dead end. Like there's no there's nowhere you can drop down to get to here or anything like that. I mean, unless you somehow manage to get on this this horse right here, this thing that looks like a giant version of a torrent, but hello Fire Knight. I could totally just bully you from here, but I'm not going to. But I'm thinking maybe we bring that scroll to Ansbosch. Like perhaps he has something cool to say about it, or maybe he could be the one that deciphers it. You never know. And let's finish off these bats over here. I know that there was... Maybe it's just the one. Okay. Oh, uh, nope. See? I'm telling you. Eventually, you play these games long enough and you pick up on patterns. Obviously, that bat is there for a reason. He's the bait, and as soon as you go for him, these ones are going to come down. But you know what we're going to do? We're not going to get God. Actually, what I would like to do is I'm just going to roast these guys. Like, we're just going to take care of it. Uh, I know that this, the fire serpent, won't reach. But you know what will? The pig talisman. Oh, yeah. That was more than enough. We just completely barbecued him. Mmm, I love the smell of fried bat in the morning. Yeah, quit eating that. That's mine. Gimme. Bats don't eat mushrooms. Okay, that looks to be the end of that. Um, I don't see a... There is. What do you know? Another doorway. The fun doesn't stop. And nor should it. Not for what I paid for this DLC. Are you kidding me? How about you? How about a nice big dinner plate straight into your skull? Or a serving platter? I don't know. How big is this thing? I mean, for somebody who eats like me, sure, that could be a dinner plate. 
whatever it is you're reading, you're going to have to continue once I sit at her grace. Alright, I'm no fool. Lock-on doesn't lie. Every time I pass these damn things, I'm hitting the lock-on button because eventually one of them is going to be real. Alright, so we know it works against these guys. Let's go ahead and do this. And then what we'll do is we'll knock them down. You know that's going to work real good. And then we're going to use this. <laughs> no way there's no way he lived alright fine we're gonna have to go tie up a loose end in a minute this item looks like a trap You'll do no such thing. Let's go see what this is. I don't trust it, though. Ooh. That'll be good for farming, because I used up all of the ones I had farming the, uh, the visages. Shit. Wait, where'd he go? I can see his cape. Oh, dude, that's hilarious. I can see the cape clipping through. Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> oh, no! Ugh. I'm about to get sliced up. So whoever's talking in there is distracting me. This goes through walls, thankfully. Yeah, I didn't like that, did you? Oh, shit! That was... That was supposed to be a critical. Don't know why it wasn't. This dialogue is really distracting me, though. Oh, no. Ah, I'm in a hallway. Nope, gotta deal with this fast. No. Whew. So that about got a little more hairy than I would like. No, just don't. All right, whatever's going on back there, listen, man, just give it up. I get it. You're trying to be a good compatriot, but just don't. Okay, let's get rid of this guy first. Shit. I'm not going to grab this. It's going to distract me. Okay, the spirit calculus. I'm so horrific at math, it's not even funny. Oh, man. That. Okay. Oh, God. Disappeared. Ha ha! Never mind. That's hilarious. Um, somebody's back here. Somebody's back here. There's something going on with this bookshelf. Where are they? Who is it? Why can't I figure this out? I'm so confused right now. Okay. We're gonna figure out who's talking in a minute. I think what I'm probably gonna end up having to do is drop down there and go underneath, perhaps? I'm not sure. We'll figure it out eventually, though. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to clear out the rest of these guys. And I'm thinking what's probably going to happen is we're going to run into some more Fire Knights. So we need to be on our toes. Got lucky with that one because he just happened to step exactly where I needed him to to finish him off in a very tasteful manner. So upon further investigation, I might be wrong. I actually don't think that's what it is. I think what we're going to have to do to figure out who's talking in that room is maybe something to do with that bookshelf. Maybe it moves. There could be like a door behind it. We're just going to have to mess around with it and find out. See how these guys like a taste of their own medicine.
Man, this spell does a lot of damage. I like it. Okay, we've got some runes. That's nice. So, is this it? Is this going to be the thing that moves the rune? I'm thinking so. Yep. Had a feeling. But I wonder what the point is. Like, why do we want to get up here at all? Why do we want to move it? Find out today on Dragon Ball Z. So, hmm, I wonder, I wonder what's going on with this contraption. Why does it want us to use it? What is the appeal? Why? Is that the one we need to finish? It sure is. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Damn, that'll come all the way up here. That's insane. Of course it dropped something. That's infuriating, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Not like I'm trying to farm that set or anything. No, of course not. Nobody wants the lore. So what's going on up here? I know that before there was kind of a reason to climb on these, but maybe that's not the case with every single one of them. Okay, I'm definitely not falling for this trap. So what we're going to do is, you guessed it, we're going to buff up and we're going to use the Pig Talisman. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, my fire versus yours, man. You didn't like that, did you? Have another one. There we go. All in a day's work. Now we just gotta figure out how to get over there. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be easy. Then again... Most things worthwhile are not. Is that who I think it is? Don't tell me that's Leta. There's something going on here. Do not tell me, do not tell me that it's going to make me scale the wall right here to get over there. Please don't. This is a stake of America. That means we're going to fight a boss soon. Going to get rid of you preemptively. We've already been down there. That's where we came in. My suspicion is that... We are probably getting very, very close to something dangerous. And this right here, this is what I was pointing out before. Do you see this? This is the Mesmer Knight that we could see from, I don't know, somewhere up top on our way in. 
And I'm thinking that that's going to be the gate that Ans Bosch was talking about. It's probably the gate that we needed to find. Deal with these guys. Grab what they're guarding. Take what you can. Give nothing back. Okay, so it very, very much wants me to find, and I think they're up there. Um, that's probably the way we need to get in, is maybe through here? So it looks like potentially what we need to do is move the contraption again in order to get to this NPC, because I'm thinking whoever is doing the talking is just on the other side of this wall here, is what it sounds like. This is an incredibly stupid idea, but I've got the twig on. Sacrificial twigs make it okay to be stupid. Know what I mean? No. No, I'll have none of your shit. The one time having the high ground just didn't do a whole lot for you. Well, that was the weirdest trade of all time. Yeah, you come on over here. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, you thought. <laughs> so check that out. We missed a purple item down there. I think it warrants going back to see if we can get it. Nope. You'll leave Hurricane, we'll get you, man. Huh! Nice. Nothing to it. So let's see what this is. There we go. Pearl Drake 3. So that will raise our resistances to everything. All right, folks. Sorry to end abruptly here, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to end this episode here. We're going to continue up. That's kind of my goal here, is we're going to figure out where the dialogue is coming from. The person that's trying to read something, apparently, they're having a hard time reading it. But we're going to keep going up, 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 and then we cannot forget about that little elevator we saw that was here at the first floor, Grace, where all those shadow militia were, and all the bookcases. So we're going to have to go see what's down at some point. But I want to finish going up first, because eventually it's going to dead end, right? We're either going to run into a boss, or something's going to happen, but... We simply don't have time for it today. But thank you guys so much for continuing to join me on Shadow of the Erd Tree. I'm going to play around with some things off screen. We're going to change it up a little bit, and I'm going to try to keep things fresh and exciting in this playthrough. So I may look and play a little bit different when I come back in the next episode. But regardless, I appreciate everybody joining me on this adventure. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am in the DLC. So far, it's been phenomenal, and I think it'll continue to maintain that energy as we go through. So... Thanks so much for watching. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.